I, uh, you know, for the most part, magicians are a pack of con men, um, swindlers, and, and liars. Um, and at heart, I am not like that. <clears throat> However, I thought it would be fun if tonight, instead of trying to trick you and deceive you like most magicians do, if instead of that, if I would actually teach you how a magic trick was done, would you like to learn? Yeah. First, I'll do the trick, and then I'll show you step by step how it's done. But uh, at one time or another, you've probably seen a, uh, a magician take a piece of rope and um, cut it and put it back together again. I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to tell you step by step how it's done. Before we start, I'd like to have someone from the audience thoroughly examine this piece of rope. Make sure it is, in fact, what it appears to be an ordinary, unprepared piece of rope. Would you, would you go over every inch of that, okay? Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Look at it closer than that. Make sure there are no trap doors or mirrors, no hidden assistants. Otherwise, I wouldn't have let you look at it. It's just a piece of rope like you'd find in any bedroom. The secret. <laughs> what? Um, the secret is not in the rope, it's in a special knot that magicians have kept secret for hundreds of years called the Mongolian pop knot. I'm going to teach you step by step how to tie this ancient and venerable knot. The first step is to measure the rope carefully. You want to make sure that when you cut, you get two pieces of rope exactly um, the same length. To put these back together again, you tie a Mongolian pot knot. Here's how it's tied. You take one rope, twist it around the other rope like this. Come back over this way, come around, come through, and pull tight. You go back and forth the same way as you went in and out, and then you go in and out at the same time as you went back and forth. You twist, come around, and pull tight. You have one Mongolian pot knot. Everybody see it? Okay, good. Now, at this point, you have to reach in your pocket, you get some magic pixie dust. You sprinkle the pixie dust on the knot, like so. In a few seconds, the pixie dust will cause the knot to dissolve and pop right off the rope, leaving you where you started from. Yeah. Some of you may have had a hard time seeing exactly how to tie that knot, especially those of you in the cheaper seats. So I'm going to do it again. This time we'll cut the rope into three even pieces. That gives you twice as much chance to see how the knot is tied, <clears throat> since it takes two Mongolian pop knots in order to put three pieces of rope back together again. Am I going too fast? Uh, Very seldom happens. <laughs> now remember, you cut these ropes so that you end up with three ropes exactly the same length. <clears throat> now when you try this at home for your friends, make sure you cut all three pieces of rope exactly the same length. If you make a mistake here, the trick will not work. For example, if instead of cutting three ropes, all the same length, you were to make a mistake, get one rope a little bit short, the <laughs> trick won't work. You get one rope about right, say, and the other rope too long, the trick won't work. All three ropes have to be the same length. Now, this, um, now this, this could happen to anybody. <clears throat> so if it happens to you, there is a way out. As long as I am teaching you the trick, I'll teach you what we magicians call a contingency plan. <laughs> if you make a mistake cutting the ropes, you fold them over one at a time like this, short, medium, and line, long. And you say the magic words, sim, salabim. <clears throat> you have to say these with a certain amount of conviction. <laughs> sim. <laughs> Come on, it's the hard part of the trick. 
Sin. Salabim. <laughs> Suddenly the ropes begin to stretch and stretch and stretch like that, leaving you where you started from. <laughs> Okay, now back to the Mongolian hot knot. We take rope number one, rope number two. I'm going to tie these together. Watch closely. I'll go slow. We take one rope, twist it around the other rope like this. Come back over this way. Come around, come through, and pull tight. You go back and forth the same way as you went in and out, and then you go in and out at the same time as you went back and forth. You twist, come around, and pull tight. You have one Mongolian top knot. Everybody with me? Yeah. Second knot is tied the same way. You may want to take notes. <laughs> take one rope, twist it around the other rope like this. Come back over this way, come around, come through, and pull tight. You go back and forth the same way as you went in and out, and then you go in and out at the same time as you went back and forth. You twist, come around, and pull tight. You have two. Mongolian hot knots. Everybody with me? Yep. Yeah. Excellent. At this point, you simply reach in your pocket and you take some magic. Pixie dust. Pixie dust. That's very good. That's very studious. <laughs> you sprinkle the pixie dust on the knots like this. Any questions so far? What? Where do you find the pixie dust? There's a question. Um, I, uh, I grind my own. <laughs> I would send the kids out of the house, though, because pixies can make a heck of a noise um, in a blender. <laughs> it can be distressing for the very young. <laughs> Any other stupid questions? <laughs> it's the only way we're going to learn. <laughs> In a few seconds, that pixie dust will cause the knots to dissolve and pop. Right up the road. Leaving where you started from, 